Okay, greetings one and all, and welcome to day number three. That's day number three, week one, fall 2024 of our journey together. That's day number three, week one, fall 2024 of our journey together. And it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you here for this evening's class. Um, so on Monday, we did math. On Tuesday, we did math, but today we're going to be doing science. And so let's, I'm sorry, today we're going to be doing English. And so let's begin. So we're gonna head up the way we usually head up. And so let's begin. So with English, um, we're gonna be looking at some vocabulary words first. So let's head up right now properly. Let me um, change this layout so we could start. So let me put my name. My name is Mr. Petit, B-E-T-I-T. -E Today's date is Wednesday. The what? Fourth. The fourth of September, um, 2024. The subject is, of course, English language. How many prefer, how many persons prefer language over English? Or you prefer? I mean, I mean language. Lang language over math. Which one you prefer? Language or math? Math. Language. Language. Okay. Language. Language over math. You don't like math that much. Language. Language. Okay. No. Right. Okay. So the topic is well, we're not really doing a topic. It's just a, the theme we're doing reading comprehension. So, so we're gonna be looking at. What are we doing today? Um, we're actually doing English today. And we're going to be looking at a reading comprehension exercise. Well, a reading comprehension passage, and then I'm going to give you a exercise based on that. All right. So, um, do I have the right? What you doing? Definitely, you have the head up, um, Shanton. So, write exactly what you see. I have on the screen. And you have the right yes, quick. You have the right quick because we already started. So let's first start off with um some um vocabulary words now these vocabulary words are going to give you a hint or an indication of what the story is going to be about all right so let's look at vocabulary words let me underline that so make sure I underline that right there let's begin with number one so the first vocabulary word um, begins with, I want you to guess, it begins with the letter R. What word do you think you're going to be looking at? It begins with the letter R. You could guess. Reading? Reading, nope. R-E. Restaurant? Nope, not restaurant. Nope. You could try, anyone could try. R-E, what word do you know? It begins with R-E. Red. Red. No, it does. Ready. Ready. Okay. Close. Well, ready is not close. I shouldn't say that. Okay, let me give another letter. P. R E P. Responsibility. No. Represented. Represented is close. At least you have the R E P. Responsibility. No, you need R E S. Respect. No, you want me Respect. give you another letter? Let me give you another letter. Let me give you another letter. So, R E P R. Represent. Report. No. Report. No. No. Okay, so R E P R. This can be easy now. O. This would be easy. R E P R O. You know what? No, it's reprimanded. No, not reprimanded. D. Think about it. R E P R O D. Repro. Um, um, what you said, um, Ar Ar Arsenio? 
Reproduction. Reproduction. That is so close. That is so close. It's so close. Reproduction. Say it again. Say it again. Reproduction. Reproduction. No. Reproducing. Reproducing. That is so close. You. Reproduce. Reproduce. Very good. Reproduce. <laughs> Very good. Um, Najara, okay. reproduce. You said reproducing, right? So the correct word is reproduce. That's what I was looking at. Thank you, um, Najari, Najara, and Arsenio. Let me say reproduce. What does that mean? What is the definition of reproduce? What do we mean when we say reproduce? That's what? To make more. To make more. Very good. To make more. So it's the process. We can say it's the process. Write this down for me, please. So reproduction or reproduce is the process of making more of something, right? So um, what all things can reproduce? Can can animals reduce, reproduce and plants? Plants? Yeah, yes. those, those things could reproduce, right? So it's the process yes. by which um, plants and animals can make more of their own time, right? That's what we mean by reproduce, right? Yes. So let's write that down. So reproduce is the process of, we could say the process by which, let's, let's just do it. Right. The process by which, um, process by which plants and animals make more, make more of their kind. Right, and when we say they are kind, we mean uh, have offspring that look like them, or that resembles them. What did you have, see? Have offspring, yes, or grow new plants. Now, all living things reproduce. Every last one. So reproduce is the process by which plants and animals make more of their own kind. And so if you have a dog, what we call baby dogs or small dogs, what we call them? Puppies. Puppies, very good. And if you have cats, what we call small cats or the offspring Kitty. of cats? Kitty. Kittens. Kittens, right? And so those are, that happens because of the process of reproduction. And so reproduce. Go ahead and read the definition for reproduce. Najara Bethel, I mean, Najara Campbell. Read the definition. Reproduce. The process by which plants and animals make more of their kind, have offsprings or grow new plants. Very good. And Shanton, can you read the definition for reproduce? Yes, sir. The process by which plants and animals make more kind, make have... More. Make more of. Make more of kinds of offspring. No, 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 no. Make more of their kind. Make more of their kind of offspring or grow new plants. Very good. And one more person, Vashti, can you read the definition for reproduce? Reproduce, the process by which plants and animals make more of their kind, have an overspring or grow new plants. Very good. Have have offspring or grow new plants. Let's go on to the next um, word. Now this word, right? This word begins with, let's say, it begins with the letter, hmm. Let's see what, we could, what word we could use now. Um, we already have reproduce, so let's use, let's do an easy one, H. Okay. A. H A. Oh. Um, who said that? Someone said it. Someone said it, but they're so low. H A B. Habitat. Habitat. Very good. Habitat. 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 Now, what is a habitat? It's like the place where the animals. Very good. It's the place where it's a place where you reside. The place where you live, right? 
habitat. So let's define it. So it's the natural environment, right? The natural environment where an animal or plant lives and grows. So what is the what is the habitat of a fish? What's the habitat of a water? Fish? The water or water. what? Or what? Coral reef. The ocean. ocean. The ocean or even the coral reef. Okay. What is the habitat of a lion? Jungle forest. The for the forest, the jungle, right? Forest. Um, more so the savanna or the jungle. What is the habitat of a polar bear? Antarctica. 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 Antarctica right. The anywhere Arctic. where snow is. Yeah, anywhere where it, where it's cold, right? That's cold. And ice. Yeah, and icy, right? What is the habitat of? Let's see, what is the habitat of? Um, what is the habitat of a dolphin? The ocean. The water the or ocean. the ocean? Very good. The ocean. And good. And what is the habitat <laughs> of humans? House. Land. Land. Yeah, we're more land. Or you could say the earth, right? That's where we live. The earth. Okay, the good. Earth. So, Asia, can you read the definition for habitat? natural environment where an animal or plant lives and grows. Oh, very good. Thank you, Asia. Arsenio, can you read the definition of habitat? Habitat, the natural environment where an animal or plant lives or and grows. Good. Good. And Grace, can you read the definition of habitat? Um, go ahead, Grace. Can you read the definition of habitat? Habitat, the natural environment where an animal or plant lives and grows. Very good. The natural environment where an animal or plant lives and grows. Very good. So that's the definition of habitat. Now let's go on to the next vocabulary word. And so I want you all to guess this one as well. I'm going to give you the first letter. Um, it starts with P. P. Oh. People. No. Just, just. Go ahead. Yes, Najara. You have a question? Um, write this right. Yes, definitely writing this down. Definitely writing this down. Photosynthesis. It's photosynthesis. Nope. P. E. P E N A S S slash D prepare no P E um S mm. Pesterize. Say it again. Pesterize. Pesterize. No, very close though. Very close. P E S T Pesterize. No. T um, Vashti, what's your guess? What do you think this word is? P E S T. And we want to finish it off. Is it pest control? Pest control. <laughs> Pester. 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 It has something to do with pests. It has something to do with pests. How about let's go with I? This one should be easy at this point. Pesticide. Say it again. Pesticide. Pesticides, very good. Pesticides. Pesticides. Now, what do pesticides do? The definition of pesticides, these are going to be what? Um, they... <laughs> what do pesticides do? Gracie, I don't know. What do pesticides do? Pesticides are chemicals that do what? That are used to kill insects. And other, and other. Flying, flying insects. So they use they use them to 
to kill the insects, would you want like worms and other and other um bad stuff on your food? Right? Would you want them growing on your food? No, right? Yes, so no, sir. So in order, if whenever you, whenever you no, yeah. So whenever, whenever they're farming, they use pesticides to help to prevent the food from getting invaded from these different animals that want to eat it. Because not only you want to eat the food, the animals want to eat the food too. So they use pesticides, chemicals used to kill insects, and other pests, and other pests that can arm crops. So pesticides can do a lot of damage. I mean, sorry, um, pests can do a lot of damage to food. So imagine if you're growing, if you imagine if you're growing your, your corn, you're growing your cabbage, you're growing your cotton, right? You're growing these things and, you know, the pest decides that, hey, not only I want to, I want to take this, I want to eat it. And so I want to show you something, right? Where you have pests destroying crops and they, if you let them get out of hand, they can really, you know, destroy certain some, some things. And so let me show you this. Let me share my screen with you so you can see. Can you see the pictures? Can you see them? So as you can see, this is corn. Yes. And this is just what happens when you when you let the pests grow in it. They eat they eat it, right? And so you they, they use pesticides to stop the pests from you know getting into it. Ew. Yeah. So they could damage them. Whenever pests ate that corn, he was really hungry. hungry. Really hungry, right? So that's so they use pesticides. The chemical pesticides are chemicals that used to kill the insects. Now, the problem with pesticides is that not only do the pesticides kill the good, the bad insects, but it also kills the good insects too. So it has a, it has a, you know, you have to be careful with using pesticides. Even though it does kill the bad insects, it could kill some good insects too. And plus, um, the food end up having the, the pesticides inside of them. So that's a problem. But either way, it still is there to protect the, the the crop from getting eaten by other plant other animals that want to eat it as well. Okay, next word. We're gonna use uh, let's use this word it begins with E. E C. It should be easy. Oh. Economics. Economics. No. E C O S. Echo. 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 Okay. Why? Ecosystem. Oh. Ecosystem. Very good. Ecosystem. Ecosystem. All right. Anyone ever heard of the word ecosystem before? In class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. Heard the word ecosystem. Very good. What do we mean by an ecosystem? It's like place where certain plants or stuff thrive yeah very good so it's it's basically a community of animals i'm sorry it's basically a community of living organisms uh, it could be plants and animals where they all of them live together to help each other out right so an ecosystem is a community a community so that's right it's not a community of living organisms so living organisms like what plants is it living organisms animals right insects and stuff all of them living in a particular community and they are interacting with each other right each other and their environment that's what we mean by an ecosystem so an ecosystem is a community of living organisms, plants and animals interacting with each other and their environment. Go ahead, Vashti, and read the definition of ecosystem. Ecosystem, a community of living or consists uh, organisms. Organisms, 
plants, animals, insects, insects interacting with uh, with each other in their environment. Very good. Um, go ahead, uh, our Arancinio, read the definition of ecosystem. Arancinio, read the definition of ecosystem. Can you hear me, Arsenio? Are you there, Arsenio? I think he got dropped off. Eh? Okay, go ahead, um, Asia, read the definition of ecosystem. Ecosystem, a community of living organisms, plants, animals, insects, interacting with, with each other, their environment. Very good, they interact with each other and I suppose to put and their environment. Let's put that there. Each other and their environment. Thank you. And their environment. So there are various types of ecosystems, right? So let me just show you a picture of different types of ecosystems. You could have the grassland. You could have the forests. You could have the desert. You could have the marine ecosystem. You could have fresh water lakes. You could have the aquarium. You could have the crop field. These are all examples of ecosystems. Which one would you like to live in the most? The aquarium, the aqu forest, the forest, the rainforest. Which one would you don't want to live in? The desert. The desert. The desert. The desert. 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 The desert. All right. So those, that's the ecosystem, right? So it's a community of living organisms, plants and animals interacting with each other, right? And their environment. So that's the definition of ecosystem. So question. What word we could use that means when you make more of your own kind, right? Reproduce. Reproduce, very good. What can we use if we want to kill bad stuff that are infecting our plants? Per Pesticides. Pesticides. Pesticides, right? Pesticides. Pesticides, very good. And what can we call the place or the natural environment where an animal can live? Ecosystem. Ecosystem. Habitat. Habitat. Ecosystem. The word I was looking for is habitat, but ecos habitat oh. and ecosystem, they are very close, right? Because your habitat is your ecosystem and vice versa, right? Um, so, okay, so last word. Yeah, we're going to use five. Yes, definitely five. Definitely five. Okay. All right, so let's let's um get one more word in before we get into the story for the day. So one more word in. Okay. So so far we have reproduced, we have habitat, we have pesticides, we have ecosystem, right? And so let's look at one more word and then we can be able to get into the lesson. I mean, not the lesson, but the reading, com the reading comprehension story or passage. Okay. So let's use the word um, pollen. So pollen, P-O. Can someone spell pollen? P-O. P-O-E-N? No. P-O-O-L-E-N? No. L L P O L L L uh -huh. I You think it's I? E E E N E N very good P O L L E N pollen All right now what is pollen do you know what what, what pollen is? It's some from come it comes from flowers It comes from flowers Flowers right. Yeah it comes from flowers right And so some it's people a, are allergic to it yeah, some people are allergic to pollen. That's, that is correct, right? And so when you think about pollen, what animal or what insect do you think about? Bee. Think about a bee. bee. Think about a bees. Bees. So, so pollen is a fine powder produced by, by flowers. And what do you think they need it for? 
it is to make easy. honey. To make honey. To make oh. honey. No, I mean the flowers, which is needed for plants to make to seeds. grow. Right, not to grow, but it's a way that they could reproduce. All right, to make more plants, pollen. <laughs> All right. Make sure if you're not speaking to mute your mic. Someone mic is not muted. All right, so we have reproduce, habitat, ecosystem, and pollen. Now, based on this, right, um, what do you think the lesson is going to be? Not the lesson, the story is going to be based on. What do you think the story Animals. Is be? Animals. Okay. Anyone else? Ecosystem or pollen? Ecosystems or pollen. Okay, good. Anyone else? What do you think the story is going to be based habit? on? Say it again. Habit. 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 Yes, sir. What do you mean by habit? You mean habitat? Yes, sir. Habitat. Plants. Okay, plants. All right. Um. So, out of these five words, which one is your favorite word? Let me start with Bashti. Which word is your favorite out of these five? Pollen. Pollen. Okay. Why you like pollen? Because it's from flowers. Because it's from flowers. Okay. Asia, what's your favorite word out of these five? Pollen. Pollen? Okay. Why is that? Because it's something to do about flowers. Because it's something to do with, about flowers. And I guess you like flowers just like Vashti. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Asia. Najara Campbell. Which, which one of those favorite? Habitat. Words? Habitat. 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 Why? Because I love natural resources. You love natural resources. Good. And Shanton, what are, the, what are these words? Which one is your Habitat. favorite? Habitat. Habitat as well. Okay. Why Why Habitat? Natural. Natural. Okay. You like natural stuff. And Grace, which one is your favorite word of the five? I like pesticides because it it sounds fancy. Mm, you like pesticides because it sounds fancy. I like that. And where's Arsenio? Arsenio, I think he got kicked out again. Eh? Arsenio, are you there? Oh, there he is. Um, Arsenio, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. You need to write down these um these words. Um, out of the five words, Arsenio, which one is your favorite? Ecosystem. Ecosystem. Why ecosystem? Because it's inside of our body. No, ecosystem is not inside of your body. Oh. Remember ecosystem. Sorry. Go ahead. You could go ahead. Remember, ecosystem is sort of like the environment where you live in, but it has to be a community of living organisms. So in an ecosystem, like say, for example, in tropical rainforest, you can have the trees, you can have the tall towering trees, which provide a canopy for the, forest floor, for the, for the floor, forest floor. And on the forest floor, you could have different animals that get the shade from the these trees and then you can have the different animals that are walking about you have the birds flying right it's a whole atmosphere it's a whole um it's a whole community of organisms interacting with each other interacting with the environment so that's what ecosystem is okay so you chose ecosystem why you chose ecosystem arsenio because it keeps my pet alive because it keeps your pet alive which pet do you have a cat. Yep, a cat. Okay. All right. So we have reproduced habitat, pesticides, ecosystem, and pollen. Um, so the word that I like from the five would definitely be reproduce. And the reason why I like reproduce is because if you have one thing, you could have another thing. You can make more, right? You, you don't just have one. Right, so reproduce is a good word. All right, and it's because of reproduction that all of us are here right now. So that's a good thing. Now let's move on to the um the story for today. So 
Let's go ahead and read the story. Um, raise your hand if you would like to read. You want to read? Raise your hand. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good. Asia, I see your hand is raised. Who else? Grace. Okay. Good. Vashti. Good. All right. So everyone will get opportunity to read. Give me one moment, please. One moment. All right, I am so sorry about that. Let's go on to the the uh, the story. Everyone raised their hand to read, so that means that we're gonna have a lot of readers, and everyone is gonna have opportunity to read. All right. So let me just go over some ecosystems that you could have. We talk about the desert, the savanna. We didn't we didn't mention the savanna. So savanna is another type of ecosystem, coral reef ecosystem, mangrove forest ecosystem. Anyone ever heard of mangroves? And you have um, the Arctic Ocean, that's an ecosystem as well. Um, today, we're gonna be looking at a different type of ecosystem. Um, and the story is gonna tell us everything we need to know. So let's go ahead and read this story. Should be an interesting story and the questions thereof should be good as well. And so I'm gonna let you read. I'm gonna start from Greece, then I'm going to go to Asia. All right, Greece, then Asia, then Campbell. Um, but everyone is gonna get a chance to read, everyone. So, is everyone finished with the first slide? Are yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. All right, good. Yes. Okay, so go ahead, um, Grace, read the first paragraph. Start with the title and then read the first paragraph. Title, How Bees Help Our World. Bees are tiny creatures, but they play an important role, a huge role in helping our environment. They are important for pollination, a process that helps plants grow and produce food. Without bees, many foods, many of the foods we eat, like fruits, vegetables, and nuts, would be much harder to grow. Okay, you can stop right there. Next person. I think it's Asia next. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Pollination helps when bees visit flowers to collect ne nectar. 
a sweet liquid that they use to make honey. As they move from flower to flower, bees transfer pollen, a powdery substance that flowers need in order to produce seeds. This allows plants to, to grow and spread without Without bees, many plants would struggle to produce to reproduce, uh -huh. which would affect the entire food chain. Very good. Um, Vashti, where's Vashti? Um, it was I want no. I I want um, Vashti to put away the glue. Okay, put away the glue. You don't need the glue now. All right, go ahead, um, Najara. In addition to helping plants reproduce, bees also help keep ecosystems balanced. Many animals, including birds and insects, rely on that bees pollinate for their food. One moment, one moment, one moment. Um, Shanton, why is your head down? I need to see you, okay? You can't have your head down. You understand me? Yes, sir. So you have to be paying attention. Go ahead, um, Najara. Start from many animals. And Arsenio. Many, um, one moment. Arsenio. Many. You need to turn on your camera, Arsenio. Arsenio, you need to turn on your camera. Go ahead. Um, I'm trying to, but I can't. It's not allowing you to do so? Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. Go ahead, um, Najara. Many animals, including birds and insects, rely on the plants that bees pollinate for their food. If bee populations continue to decline, it could lead to fewer plants, which means less food for many species. This could disrupt entire ecosystems and lead to the extinction of certain animals. In short, bees do, mo do more than just help plants. They help maintain the health of the environment. Very good. Shanton, bees themselves. Thank you, Najara. Bees, bees themselves are face. Fascinating. Fascinating creatures. A bee is colony. A bee colony. A bee colony is made up of three types of bees, the queen workers and the drones. Wait, wait, wait. The you see the comma? You have the pause. The queen workers and drones. So go ahead. The queen's worker and drones. Mm -hmm. The queen is responsible for laying eggs while the workers' bees collect nectar, build, and protect their hives and take care of the young drones. Of the young? Um, of the young? Pause. Of the young. Okay, now move on. Drones. Drones are male bees that mate with the queen. Each type of bees had a special specific, spe specific role that helps the hives su su survive and Thrive. Thrive. The way they work together as a colony colony is an excellent uh -huh. example of who cooperation. Cooperation in nature. In nature. Very good. Arsenio, honeybees. Honeybees are especially important because they re they produce honey, which humans have harvested for thousands of years. Honey is not only a tasty sweetener, but also many also has but it also has many health benefits. It can be used to treat sore sore throats, heal wounds. And even improve digest digestion. 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 
Say the word again. Digestion. Uh huh. Bees wax another pro product, product. Uh -huh. from honeybees. Is used in candles, skincare products, and even art supplies. Bees provide humans with much more than we often realize. Very good. Go ahead, Vashti. My laptop is going to die soon, so I have to read it quickly. Okay. Where's your charger? It's in the room. Okay. Go ahead and read it, and then you can get your charger. Oh, unfortunately, bees' populations are declining around the world. Fat to say, parasites use a uh, lot take your time, of Take your time. 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 You're not running. You're not rushing. Factors like pesticide use. Go ahead. Loss. No, start of, from factors. Um, start from factors. Start from factors. Factors like pe pesticide. Pesticide. Use. Pesticides use loss of wild habitat. Uh -huh. And climate climate change. Or con con contributing, con contributing, contributing to the re reduction, reduction, re reduction in 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 bees numbers. This decline is alarming because the of the crucial role will be played in the food chain and environment. Many scientists and Environmentalists. And, uh, environmentalists. Environmentalists. Environmentalists are working hard to raise awesomeness. Awareness. Uh, awareness and create solutions to protect bees, such as planting more flowers and reducing pesticides pe 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 used by Taking pesticide use used by taking steps and to 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 protect bees. We are also protecting our food supply and the uh, and the uh, I health, can't see the rest. Health of our planet. Health 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 of our planet. Very good. Okay, Shanton, can you tell me one thing you learned from this reading, one thing you understand from it. Shanton, tell me one thing you understand from the passage. Of the honeybee heals the throat. The, the honeybee heals the throat. Very good. I mean, I mean the, it treats a sore throat. It treats a sore throat. Very and good. It, and it heals the wounds. Very good. Um, Najara, give me one thing you uh, understand from the passage. And some that a bee colony is made up of three types of, three types of bees. Uh -huh. Okay. And what are the three types of bees? The queen, the workers, and the jobs. Very good. And Asia, what do you understand from this story? Asia? Asia, can you hear me? Where's Asia? Is Asia still there? Asia, can you hear me? Um, can y'all can the rest of y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay I don't know if Asia, Asia can hear me. Asia, can you hear me? I don't know. If, I don't know if she can hear me. You know, um, I'm, I'm like probably she probably froze. Okay. Um, who I haven't asked yet? Um, Grace. Tell me one thing you've learned from the story. Go ahead, Grace. I learned. I learned that beeswax makes a lot of things that we use daily. For example. 
art supplies and skincare products and candles. Okay, good. Okay, so we're gonna have, thank you. So how many persons like bees or oh, you don't like bees? I don't like bees. You don't like bees? I Why? don't like bees. Why? I like bees when they eat, so they kind of sting me. I okay. don't like bees. You don't like bees? They sting you and, they, like and then sting is hurt. Yeah, they sting. And how many persons ever, how many persons ever got bitten by a bee before? Me, I have. You me. have? Me. I have. Thankfully, I have never gotten stung by one. You haven't gotten got stung by a bee? I never got stung. Who have not gone, gotten stung by a bee yet? Me. Ra raise your hand. Asia? Who else? Naj Najara? Wow. Anyone else haven't gotten stung from a bee yet? And Grace? Wow. Anyone got stung from a wasp? Anyone got stung from a wasp? Okay. I have. You have, okay. All right, so the, they, are, they, are, they, 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 they hurt for real. Okay, so we're going to begin the great exercise. It's only four of them. You're going to write the question as well as the answers. Um, so you're going to write the question and, and the four options that I give you, all right? So start from number one. Number one says, write this down for me, please. Write this down. Number one says, why are bees important for the environment? Number two, why do bees collect? Why, what, what do bees collect from flowers to make honey? Number three, how does pollination help plants? Number four, which type of, which of the following is an example of how bees benefit humans? So, uh, I think that's a mistake for number one, as um, let's change this to wolves. All right, that should be good. Good. All right, so answer the questions for me. Um, Vashti, where's Vashti? Open your mic, please. Yes, sir. Why are you still playing with that glue? I put it now because it was open. No, you're playing with it. Put the put the put the glue away. Okay. And it's not okay. It's either yes or no, so. So quickly answer number one, question number one. Grace, why are you not writing? What why are your arms is full? I just finished writing. Um, what number you on? Number two. Number two, you answered number one already? Yes, sir. All right, make sure your handwriting is, is neat so that I could be able to see what you're writing. Um, Vashti, what number you on? I'm going on to number two. Okay, wait, let me help you all understand something. You have to write the options as well. Don't just write the question and the correct answer. You have to write the option as well. Do you understand that, Grace? Grace, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Um, Vashti, do you understand that? Yes, sir. You have to write not only the question, but also the options as well. Then circle the one that you think is right. Asia, what number are you on? I'm on number one, writing the answers. Okay, writing the options. And um, Arsenio, what number are you on? Number one. Number one, A, B, or C, or D? A. Okay. Very good.
Um, uh, Arsenio, what number you say you on? Arsenio, what number you on? I'm heading on two. One on number two, and. Yes. Okay, and Najara, 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 what number you want? I'm on two right now, instructions. Okay. All right. Um, who else should be asking? Grace, what number you on now? I'm about to go on to number three. Um, Grace, are you writing the options as well? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, um, Asia, what number you on? I'm on number two. On number two now, okay. Najara Campbell, what number you on? Two. Number two as well, okay. Um, let me ask, uh, Arsenio, what number you on now? I'm still on number two. Okay. Shanton, what number you on? Shanton, what number you on? I'm on number two. Number two? All right. Yes, Najara, what number you on now? Three. Okay.
All right. Um, Basti, what number you on now? I'm 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 going on number three. Going on number three. That's good. Make sure I write the question as well as the option as well. The options as well. Najara, Bethel. I mean, Campbell. What number you on? I'm on B on number three. B on number three. Good. And um, Asia. What number you on? I'm on number three. Okay. A, B, C, or D? I'm on A. Good. Grace, what, what number you on? Number four, A. Four, A, okay. Arsenio, what number you on? Arsenio, what number you on? Arsenio, what number you on? Say it again. I, oh, you're, you're, you're breaking up. Okay. Make sure I take your time and answer the question properly. All right. What do you say in Arsenio? Number three? Okay. All right, um, Basti, what number are you on now? I'm still on number three. Still on number three? Okay, good. Um, Shanto, what number are you on now? I'm on number three. Number three, A, B, C, or D? I'm on, I'm on C. C? Okay. Um, do, yes, good, and then Najara. Campbell, what number are you on? Four. For what? B. For B. Okay, for those of you, once you're finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. You know how we do it every day. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. That's what I need you to do. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. That's what I need you to do. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I'm going on number four. Okay, no problem.
I'm on C. All right, you on 4C, Chandon? Yes, sir. Okay, and again, I need you, once you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, once you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Arsenio, what number you on? Arsenio Delancey. We have to put your finger up because I can't hear you. Put your fingers up. Let me put your finger up so I can know what, what, tell me by your fingers what number you on because I can't hear you. Number four, okay. Um, Someone just sent me their work. Who was that? That was me. That was Grace. Oh, by the way, I need you to send also. Don't I'm just finished. send the work. Send also the, um, and also the vocabulary words. I need to see that as well. So send the vocabulary words. Over. Who else say they finish? Chanton? Okay, yes, take, a, take a picture of your work and send it to me. I I sent one of my issues now. Yes, I see it. I see the great exercise, but I not only want the great exercise, I need also the, um. I need also the, um, so, vocabulary. vocabulary words as well. All right, Grace, you finished with your with with your with the first four. Yes, sir. Okay, good. For those. For those who are finished with the first four, this is only for those persons who are finished with the first four, nobody else. If you're finished with the first four, then I have the rest for you to do. I'm gonna put it inside the chat. But it's only for those persons who finish with the first four. We have five, six, and seven that I want you all to do. I'm gonna put it inside the chat. Only if you finish with the first four, okay? Only if you finish with the first four, then you could do this one. You all understand now? This is only for the persons who finish with the first four. So first of all, finish with the first four, send that work to me, and then you would be allowed to do the, then you'd be allowed to do five, six, and seven. All right, do you see five, six, and seven in the chat, um, Grace? Yes, sir. Okay, I need you to do that. Since you already finished with the first four, I need you to do five, six, and seven. Um, Najara Campbell, did do you see five, six, and seven? Yes, sir. Okay, I need you to do that for me, please. Seeing By the, me, sir. This, this is um Stacy. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, good. Now, since you finished with the first four, I need you to do five, six, and seven. All right. All right, Chandon. Yeah, yes, sir. Good. Do five, six, and seven for me. Um, Asia, what number you on? I'm going on number four. You're going on number four, okay. And Vashti, what number you on? I'm on number four A. You are on number four A right now? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good.
Um, for Arsenio, what number you on? Uh, Arsenio, what number you on? Now show me by your hands, what number you on? Number four, okay. So number four. Okay, Arsenio and at Asia, I need you all to work a little faster because the rest of us are already finished with those exams, those tests. All right, make sure that you um, Shanton, but number one. I'm on six. Six, okay. I'm on six. And Grace, but number one. Six. Six, okay. And Najara, what number you on? Six. Number six as well, okay. Grace, what number you say you want again? Number six. Number six, okay. Mr. Patik, I'm going on number five. Um, Vashti, before you go on number five, I need you to um, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. So don't go on number five yet until you see. My mom is not home. She's at work. Okay. Did you send, did, did, you, did she send me the notes from yesterday? Uh, no, sir. She didn't because she was tired. Okay. Um, t um, let her know that I need the work sent when she come home and she is settled. Then uh, I'm gonna need the nose, okay? Okay, yes, so. Good. Shanton, what number you on? I'm, I'm on six. I'm on six D. Six D? Yes, so. Okay, 60, that's just good. And um, Najara, what number you on? Sexy. Sexy, okay, you almost finished. And Asia, what number you on now? I'm on 4D. 
for the okay. Grace, what number you are now? Almost done with number six. Almost done with number six, okay. I'm finished. You're finished? Who yes, said they're finished? Asia. Asia? Okay, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Yes, sir. Um, Arsenio, did you send in your work? Did you send in your work? Okay, what number you on now? Because we have the ones inside the chat to do. I'm finished. You finished and done? Okay. Yes, take, sir. A, take a picture of that and send it to me. Um, for those of you who are finished with that extended exercise, take a picture of that as well and send it to me. Um, Arsenio, we also have another exercise for you to do. It's inside the chat. I'm a five, six, and seven. Mr. Petit, I'm going on six now. You're going on six now. Okay, that's good. All right. I'm done. You're done as well, Najara. Did you send a note? Did you send it to me? I'm gonna send it now. Okay. How about you, Grace? Did you send your work to me as well? No, sir. So almost finished. Okay. I'm on number seven. Number seven. Okay. My my me sent it. Your mother sent it? Okay, that's good. All right, so we I gonna, sent it. You sent it as well? That's good. So let's go ahead and answer these questions. Before I start time is up. I just sent in my work. You just sent in your work? The first one, right? Yes, so. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and answer these questions. So, all right, so this one says, this is a great exercise. Um, it says, what are, what, why, sorry, are bees important for the environment? Which I love for this one. 
A, B, C, or D? B. 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 Very good. B. Because they, very good because they help with pollination. If you got it right, please put a tick. If you got it right, please put a tick. If you got it wrong, please make the correction. How many persons got this one right? B. I got it. I got it. Very good. I got it. I got it. Good. good. I got it. All right. So they are important because they help with pollination. That's why they're important. So if you got it right, please put a tick. All right. Number two, why, do, sorry, what do bees collect from flowers to make honey? What do bees um, collect from flowers to make honey? What do they put? Pollen. 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 They collect pollen. 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 How many persons got that? I got that. I got that. Okay. I got it. I got that. All right. Raise your hand if you got that. Raise your hand if you got that. Number two. Raise your hand if you got that. Good. Arsenio, did you get it? Okay, thank you. Sending this work as well. Number three, wha how do how does pollen help plants? Sorry, how does pollination help plants? Would you all have for that one? I put A. A help. I, I put B. I put B. A. A, it helps plants put, grow faster. I put A. All right, no, it helps plants produce seeds. The answer is B. I put B. 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 So the correct answer is B. If you got that right, please put a tick. If you got it wrong, make the correction. Um, and number four, which, which number four? Which of the following is an example of how bees benefit humans? A. A. They provide us A. with. They provide, they, provide us with, us with honey. they provide us with honey. Very good. They provide us with honey. They provide us with honey. Very good. How many persons love honey? I love honey. You love honey? Okay. I got it. I do. Okay. All right. So, Anyone got all right? Four to four? Let me know if you got all right. Four to four. I, I got all right. Four to four. I got all right. Got all right. I got one wrong. How many persons got, got one wrong? wrong person got one wrong. Okay. I got one wrong. One wrong? Okay. All right, let's go to the next exercise, the graded exercise. Um, I mean, the extended exercise. Number five, what is one product that bees make besides honey? Beeswax. Beeswax. Very good. Beeswax. Beeswax. Very good. Beeswax. Beeswax. Number, number six, what is the possible consequence of the decline in bee population? Fewer plants will be able to produce. Um, plants will go faster. B. Yeah, few B, fewer plants to be able B. to reproduce. Now number seven. I got which that wrong. Right. Which of the following is not a threat to bees? Not a threat to bees. Pesticides. Oh, Pesticides, loss of habitat, change of climate, climate change. Which all for that one? Pollination. Pollination, very good. Pollination. Pollination is not a threat to bees. Okay, so that is the end of this lesson. Um, we have our last class on tomorrow for this week. And so I'll see you all tomorrow. God's spare life. Take care, everyone. See you later. See you tomorrow. See you later. See you tomorrow. All right, see take, you care. Tomorrow. take care. Take Bye. care. Take care. Have a good one.